What's up guys, this is your boy Russian and since it's almost Halloween we're gonna be taking a look on a game that is now on Steam and it's free to play Succubus Prologue. So before we start let me just let you guys know this is a 18 and up game. So if your kids are around please do not watch. Yes I did do that review showing parts of the game but all censored, but still, it's a very strong game, and I will say even for some 18, 20 years old, and even older, this is not a game for them. So, roll credits. What you're probably asking yourself, is this game for me? Well, if you think babies taste like chicken, and if you really enjoy movies like I Spit on Your Grave from 1978, the remake, and the number two, three, and Deja Vu, yes, this game's free. Now, if you didn't like one of those things and don't think babies taste like chicken, it may or may not. Now, this game was actually really fun for me, but let's discuss that first. So first of all, this game is developed and published by Madmind Studios. Uh, it's not a major uh, publishing company, developing company. Now they did create the prequel for this game that is called Agony. It came out in 2017. It's a pretty fun game. Again, it's this type of game that it's not for everybody. Uh, if your aunt or your mom's really religious, she probably gonna call it an exorcist for you. So, yeah. Now the premise of this game, you play as a succubus and you pretty much go create mayhem in hell. There was some inspiration from games like Doom um, with the whole combos when you kill an enemy. It is also a game that reminded me a lot of the series Heretic. I don't know if you guys remember, it came out around the same time as the first Doom. Now, one of the good things is this game does use Unreal Engine 4. Uh, it, the game is not actually completed, the actual game Suc Succubus. It's going to be coming out on E2 or E3 next year, supposedly. Um, so, there's some stuff that a lot of people may like or not like, and it has to do with the graphics. I thought the graphics are fine, uh, they look pretty good for me. I do feel there was a kind of like style choice that may not resonate with a lot of players. Um, there is kind of like a blur in the characters, but it was fine for me. Again, the game is not out, they may still do some changes. Um, it seems in the forums on Steam a lot of people actually liked that style. Uh, it was my case. It took a little bit of adapting um, as I first played the game. Like I was telling you guys, this is not a complete game. you just really going to play kind of the tutorial in the beginning and then you play the first level of the game and that's pretty much it. After you do play the first time, you can pretty much complete the whole thing in about 30 minutes or less. But now, there is something interesting because you actually have leaderboards if you want to actually participate and that's to see, you know, which players can actually achieve most points on that and that's online right now, so that's pretty cool. It's something you can just go in and play a little bit. Now, one of the things, and that's how I played for the review, uh, the game does allow you to blur the nudity down um, you still can see a lot of things. I think the biggest problem for some people, it won't be the nudity. It will have to do with some subjects like your to heal. What you need to do is pretty much take a pregnant woman, rip the baby out of her and eat the baby. Yeah, that's kind of... That's kind of interesting way to yourself in the game. So, 
like I said, the subjects of the game will, will get some people messed up. One of the reasons I said that you actually need to like, you know, movies like A Spit in Your Grave is, it's very graphic. Like for example, women, if they're pregnant, you pretty much rip the baby out of them. Uh, a man, you rip something else. Um, so yeah, that's, you know, that's pretty much how the game goes. Now, the fighting is pretty fun. Um, one of the things that I would say, I played with my keyboard and I almost regretted doing so because you have a lot of specials you can do. You can use rage, you can uh, use different types of weapons. Well, use the same weapon, but you also have specials. And I think for me, when the game actually comes out, I will probably use my controller. Um, it, I feel it's gonna be much easier to actually play the game. The tutorial is not long, uh, but it really explains to you the controls and how to do things in the game. So that was... I was actually really happy. I'm actually reviewing, about to review a game called Aquinox. You guys probably know the old ones. <laughs> and God, the tutorial is so long. Yeah, this one's not the case, so... It, it, that was fine. Uh, the only thing that was sad is... First time I played the game, it pretty much took me less than an hour because I was really trying to analyze the game, I was seeing all the cutscenes, I was watching everything, uh, I was trying to figure out what you can and cannot do. And the second time around, that was pretty quick. So, one thing I did have a problem with, and that had to do with the AI. The AI, for the most part, is fine, but in certain parts, when I had some massive amounts of enemies, um, I was pretty much able to find myself in a spot where they would just walk towards me and if I kicked in at a certain distance, next enemy would come pretty much in that fatal funnel and just get kicked the same way. Um, I know it's very hard to work with AI, um, so yeah, like if you find that nice spot to just wait, it may kind of be easier than you would hope for. But, like I said, the game is not finished yet. Uh, but it's pretty fun. Now, play alone, because people will judge you if you're playing this game. Uh, like, really, really judge you. So, final judgment. Should you buy this game? Yes, definitely you should buy this game. Um, you can tell they put a lot of work in it, and it's not even released yet. So, Good game. Uh, again, you will be judged a lot. So, play in your room, closed doors, locked, doesn't matter. It's better for, the, for people to actually think you're doing something else in your room than actually play this game. So, anyway, just to let you guys know, if you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to do so. Leave me a comment, let me think what you think about the game. You can download for free on Steam. And don't forget to give me a like. Hit that notifications bell, and as always, I'll see you in the game.